and people are trusting in these, and people ought to be trusting in the living God. Anyway, um, 14 to 23 percent of teenage girls become pregnant during their first year of relying upon the condom as birth control. Um, there's 25 reasons here that con why condoms have proven to be so ineffective in actual real life use. Um, condoms rupture or burst. The semen spills. Condoms slip off. Condoms are put on improperly. They get reused. God forbid. They're waiting too long to put the condom on. There's manufacturer's defects. There's tears in the condom when opening the package. There's been stored out in the wrong way, like in a wallet or a glove compartment. Uh, they're outdated. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The reason that condoms don't work. If you're trusting in a condom to keep you from getting pregnant or from keep, keep you from getting sexually transmitted diseases, you better look into the statistics because uh, it's not the most effective thing. The only effective thing is abstinence. And, yeah, we're teaching an old-fashioned Bible standard, but it's still good for today. It still works today. Amen? Amen. All right. And we know that the myth is that, you know, uh, especially if you watch, again, watch movies, modern movies, well, they don't even really have to be that modern. Yeah, can, uh, that's true. Movies uh, 20 years old or even older, probably, uh, are, you know, we're advocating, hey, let's go all the way here and not pull out all the stops. And, uh, you know, I think it, uh, first time I noticed it was uh, uh, in James Bond movies, I believe. You know, now everybody was back then when the James Bond movies with uh, Sean Connery came out. Uh, you know, that was the big thing. I, I loved the music, and, uh, you know, I, I thought being a secret agent was really cool, so I went to see all the James Bond movies I, you know, could see uh, back then. And, uh, you know, he was cool, all right, you know, but but the only thing was, the daggone guy would jump in the sack with the, yeah, every woman, uh, practically, that he met, you know, it seemed like, and... Uh, uh, you know, that's just not right. So, that was, you know, being portrayed on the screen that this, hey, this guy's cool, man, he's a secret agent, you got all this cool music and and cool lifestyle, you go, you go around killing the bad guys and all this, you know, I mean, a young person is going to get, you know, think, hey, this is cool, man, and, and, and you know, the coolest thing was that uh, he had sex with so many different women, you know. Well, let me get a word in here. I'd like to put a plug in for the good old Little House on the Prairie. There you for go. For the Anna, uh, Anna Green Gables. Green Gables and uh, Christie movies. And, oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, Highway to Heaven. Yeah. These, and The Fugitive had some very good themes in, in his things. You yes. know, we've been going to the library and we've been renting the seasons of some of these older shows where they still believed in purity and in going to church and in praying. And even in and one morality. of them... Big John Garvey, he was praying and stuff, and they saw answers to prayers, and oh, their faith works. was rewarded. And, and I, I thank God that there's still some good stuff that you can get, and you Amen. don't have to fill your mind with garbage. And even the Spider-Man movie, he walked in purity, uh, these recent ones with that young Spider-Man. And, uh, and then there was the thing of uh, good against evil in the Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, you know, th it's possible to still get some good stuff. And you don't have to stop watching TV. There's some good movies out there. We've had to go uh, watch some kid-type movies to uh, be able to do something besides stay at home and teach Bible myth-busting. But uh, we want to read you some verses now. I want to read you this here from Hebrews chapter 12. And verse 14, it says, Try to live in peace. You want to get your verses lined up there? Try to live in peace with all people. Now, it says try in this version because it's not possible to live in peace with everybody. In one place it says, As much as possible, walk in peace. But uh, we try to live in peace with all people and we try to leave, live free from sin. Anyone whose life is not holy will never see the Lord. But if you do sin... 
the Lord will forgive you if you ask forgiveness in Jesus name and uh, ask him to forgive you I mean that's why he died on the cross you might be involved in some of these sins that we're going to read about and that we've been talking about but the Lord can set you free he'll save you he'll Amen. forgive you he'll give you a home in heaven you know heaven is a prepared place for prepared people if you want to go there you got to ask God to forgive your sins because no sin is going to enter into heaven it says that we got to uh, uh, no liars and people that are doing things that are wrong are going to enter into heaven and so uh, let me uh, interject a thing there uh, the Bible says without holiness no man shall see the Lord and I was you know there's a lot of things that are not really taught that uh, in you know very much if at all in uh, what I call the traditional church the people might be born again they might even some of them might even be filled with the Holy Spirit but that's not the end of the story that's just the beginning the people in Corinthians what we're gonna read some uh, verses for from first Corinthians here on sex in the church that's actually going to be our next subject here uh, we're going to talk about uh, somewhat or at least me and uh, you know uh, kind of got my train of thought derailed there a little bit but uh, all right it's coming back no. anyone uh, <laughs> who is not holy will never see the Lord be careful that no one fails to receive God's grace and begins to cause trouble among you. A person like that can ruin many of you. Be careful that no one takes part in sexual sin. No, no one takes part in sexual sin. This is uh, what the Bible is telling us, is to walk in holiness. Maybe you don't know what holiness is. Holiness is walking in purity towards God and towards other people. Not lusting after everyone that you see walking down the street in short shorts and all these things. Holiness is having your mind stayed on God and asking God to help you. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, yeah. we got a few other verses here we want to read. Um, all right, we're going to read in 1 Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians 5. Now, this is talking about sex in the church. Now, some people say, and I even used to... Uh, feel this way that you know if somebody started talking about sex from the pulpit I, I'd get uncomfortable because uh, I thought hey you know what's going on here why are they you know that was kind of like taboo to my mind you know but anything here's here's a little bit of wisdom for you from God any that most people don't seem to know any subject that God talks about in the Bible, we Christians, diligent doers of the word, we're trying to be, uh, we are allowed to talk about in church or anywhere else. Now, you know, a lot of people try to shut us up because they don't want to hear what we have to say, actually what God has to say. Uh, and they try to discredit ministries, uh, and 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 while I'm on that subject, let me let me just uh, throw this in very quickly. That you know the media. I've been noticing uh, on the media that they seem to feel it's their quote unquote. How do you do that? God given. Uh, task sometimes to uh, criticize uh, TV preachers. Now my thing is who died and made them boss? You know why do they who are not even born again most of them if you took statistics uh, I think I could say without fear of any successful scripturally based contradiction that uh, many if not most are not born again and you can judge that be, by what they're saying they're not you know if like I said before some of them are born again they don't know the Bible that good because they're not agreeing with what the Bible says 
in many instances. So, you know, you got people like this. These people are not uh, qualified to tell anybody 